It's busy near 56 in Uinta. We drive there at least like every day, at least every few days we go down there. Enrique Martinez picked up his eight-year-old daughter Isabella from school last Tuesday on his motorcycle. He just jumped in right in front of us, like just right in front of us. Yeah. Like I couldn't even do anything about it. Denver police say an unknown car cut them off. To avoid hitting them, we kind of just laid it down, you know. So like he just jumped right in front of us and I touched like his bumper. Denver police say the car didn't stop. They're still looking for the driver. Both of us got our left side pretty bad. She got it worse. Isabella was wearing shorts and was taken to the hospital. She got burned pretty bad with the the road rash. So we were there for two days. The first couple of days she couldn't even walk around. We had to help her to the bathroom and everything. There was it was rough. We had to buy her new shoes just because she got she was swollen. They also bought a wheelchair to keep moving. They're thankful she has no broken bones and she was wearing a helmet. Colorado has no age requirement to ride on a motorcycle, but riders should be able to wear a helmet that fits and their feet need to touch the footrests. In our family, like we grow up on them, you know, it's nothing different than just the car. You know? In all of the busyness lately, the Martinez family will focus on the stillness of healing. I maybe play with my sister and and watch some TV and color. Isabella was originally told that she would need a skin graft, but after her doctor's appointment yesterday, everything looks like it is healing up well and she will not need one. Anyone with information about this crash is asked to call Crime Stoppers. Live in Denver, Lawrence Caffiti, 9 News. Okay. Wow. Thank goodness she's going to be okay, but it's going to be a tough road for a little bit. Thank you, Lawrence.